Brilliant. I need a holiday as well. No, this isn't a holiday, Vince. Whoa there, little doggy. <laughs> this is a serious business we're talking about. This is a mission, yeah? Dangerous environment in the Arctic. Very dangerous. Yeah. So dangerous animals there, you know, there's a polar bear. He's all right, isn't he? No, 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 he's very vicious, you know, very fast. You know, you can't outrun him. You know, you can outrun a man. Wow. You can outrun a horse. Really? You can ride a horse. <laughs> he gets it up, saddles it up, jo you know, <laughs> jockey style. Is that true? No, but he is a very vicious animal, you know? Imagine the horror, you're in the tundra. Infinity, stretching on the whiteness, the nothingness, the polar bear tracking you. Imagine, imagine that. that. Why? I've not been there yet. Well, use your mental imaging faculties, yeah? OK. Project, focus, come on. Okay. What have you got? A blue clock. Uh, that's not it. Push that aside. Go forwards. Okay. What's next? What have you got now? Stocky Jesus. <laughs> What's he all about? <laughs> like Jesus, but fatter. Mm. Doesn't really feature in this scenario. Push him in a ditch. Okay. Go forwards. What's next? A little magic trumpet. Pick it up. Put it in a utility bag. You might need that later. Yeah, yeah. Go forwards. What have you got There's now? It's a big angry seaweed. God, oh, he's doing that. Oh, Give him the trumpet. Oh, giving it to him. What's he doing? He's playing jazz. Oh, no, it's no, no, distracting. He's got in the corner. Go around him. There's a little doorway. Door. I've got through. What's that? Polar bear. Okay. <laughs> got the polar bear. Oh, Keep the image. It's disgusting. He's looking at you. Oh. You're looking at him. There's no escape. Death. The final reckoning. What happens next? We get on quite well. <laughs> you don't get on well with a polar bear. We do. We just click. <laughs> As you know, Howard and Vince have disappeared. They were great keepers and they will be very difficult to replace. They were very close friends of mine. So with that in mind, what qualifications do you have to work here at Bob Fossil's Zooniverse? <coughs> yeah, when I'm uh, yo young and I have a kitten, uh, and then I put him in a bag and uh, flat him up. <laughs> Beautiful, you start Monday. What? Now he smash him and he gone off. Are you still here? <laughs> We're not friends, you know. know Get out of here! Take your half-dead friend with you! There's a mop around the corner! Yeah, come on, Mo! Wait. <laughs> Congratulations to our two returning heroes. All right, that's enough! <laughs> now, all that's remaining is to announce the new head keeper. Now, it was a difficult decision. It came down to two people, and I couldn't choose between them, so I decided to pick both of them. So, ladies and gentlemen, without further ado, and do, our new head keeper, the Hoop Brothers! Let's give it up for the Hoop Brothers! Yeah! Huh? You're working for them now! The Hoop Brothers! Huh? Here you go! <laughs> Look at you! <laughs> the new head keepers. <laughs> You're working for them now, huh? What do you think of that? What happens now? <laughs> Roll credits. 